No blame goes to the coach for overcoaching. What are the second order effects of overcoaching? Typically, you're going to have players that are possibly gripping their sticks too tight, filled with anxiety, and a limited fear based mind set or mind frame. Um, their heads are filled with extraneous information that they don't necessarily need. They're thinking instead of instinctually doing. They're in their head. They're not in their heart. They're in their head. They're not in the game in front of them. They're doing the slow thinking that Kahneman talks about. They're not in their fast thinking brain. All in all, all of this makes them objectively worse at the task at hand, whether that's chipping the puck into the neutral zone, making a pass to their center with speed, entering the zone with possession, what have you.